In most countries, when you're out of food or cleaning products, you just go to a shop and buy the essentials. But not Venezuela. Here, getting the basics takes a lot of work and a lot of time. It's Friday in the morning, and like many Venezuelans, I'm gonna go around the city looking for products. Here I have a list, eight essential goods. Their prices are regulated by the state, which is partly the reason why they're so scarce. First off, my local supermarket. Weird, no queue outside, but... Lately, Venezuelans are queuing in basements. Some say it is because the government wants to hide the queues, while others say it's because they don't want people to get sunburned. So it's 9, 10 in the morning. We're queuing here to get a number so we can queue again and buy the product. We don't know what they have right now, but someone told us that they have cooking oil. Queues are, of course, the best place to hear what's the talk on the streets. So they just told us that there's no cooking oil. So basically we queued in vain. Aha! I get a text message from a friend telling me that there's corn flour in another supermarket. So let's get a motorizado. Motor taxis are the fastest way to move around Caracas. So it's 10.30 in the morning. We've been out for an hour and a half now. Uh, we haven't been able to buy anything. We got to another supermarket. We got our number. People here just told me that they've been looking for products since 5 in the morning. So I was finally able to buy something, corn flour, which is one of the most precious goods here in Venezuela. It's 12.30 in the morning, I'm gonna keep going. Critics say the cause of shortages is price controls, which make reselling too profitable and producing, well, the worst business ever. But the government says scarcity is part of an economic war, which hides, smuggles and hoards products to destabilize the country. To tackle this, the government is trying to control shoppers. Last measure was installing fingerprint scanners in supermarkets. I spent the whole morning looking for products. I just bought detergent and dishwashing soap. So in total, that's only three products on my whole list. Studies say that Venezuelans spend an average of eight hours a week looking for products. Some people even take the day off to embark on the quest of finding basic goods. Others have made a job out of the hunt for goods, selling them off at a higher price. Daniel Pardo, BBC News, Caracas.